When this project began, it was to be a reflection of the faithfulness and mercy of God that I have found along the way of a difficult life journey. Through the devastating loss of two of my brothers, to the ongoing battle for my life against two different cancers, I found myself drawing strength and hope from scripture. It was those scriptures that became the breath of life to me, and so I gave voice to them through music. An amazing thing then happened. Hope began to be born in many lives as people responded to the songs, and I was more determined than ever to finish this CD by focusing on this great attribute of God. Hi everybody, um, my name is Earl Bennett, and um, I'm the studio owner of Sanctuary Sound Studio, and a good friend of Tony Leffler, and had the great opportunity and my honor, it was totally, it's my honor to be a part of this project with Karen and everybody that played on it. Um, when Tony asked me to be a part of this project, um, it really sung with my heart because the whole concept of Sanctuary Sound is all about um, ministry. It's never really been about being a, a studio for profit. It's more about us being a studio to be used for the kingdom of God and that was the, the thing the Lord had shown me a long time ago, 20 something years ago. And um, just to have the opportunity to be a part of this project has been a wonderful experience. Um, I will tell you that when Karen came down in, in January and of uh, 2010, it was, I wasn't sure how this was all going to work out the way we were doing things, but God brought, miraculously brought all the right people together at the right times and continued to bring to us everything we needed to, to see the project come to fruition it came to. So I um, just wanted to say I'm honored to have been a part of it, uh, honored to have met Karen and Stephen and um, I hope everybody enjoys the, the album as much as I enjoy being a part of it and um, I also know that God will do a great work with it and it was a great blessing to uh, to see it come come together the way it did so I just pray everybody has a great time and celebrate Karen's life I'm sure she that's what she'd want so God bless I stand, oh. in here. Yeah, support. Yeah, right there. What is the line? Support me in the overwhelming support, flood. Support, the P, yeah. Support me. Okay, I'll, I'll go soft around it because you don't have a popper. I know, I know, a screen. Or right, you we'll can do, back up, but that was the only line let's that go was to the third. That's the third chorus. Yeah. Um, so, um, it's in the front of the song. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's the second. Say, what do we really know about hope? So I began this study, which came at a very timely point in my life before I was diagnosed with the second cancer. And um, I found some very interesting aspects of the word hope. One of them is that hope is an anchor. It says that hope is an anchor of our soul. Sort of like, you know, when a ship is on, on, in a hurricane, man, and having a real hard time, you know, trying to stay steady, they drop anchor. Because as long as there's breath, there is hope. As long as um, you know in your heart that God loves you unconditionally, and maybe you've, you've been angry, and maybe that's why you feel hopeless, because you just feel God has let you down. If you surrender that thing to Him and begin to just look in your heart and see if there's bitterness, if there's anger, if there's stuff that you've just kept in there, because hopelessness does not come from God. God is a God of hope, not a God of hopelessness. So if those feelings are somebody, if they're giving up, it's not the place God wants you to be. Um, he wants to pour his, his grace because that's where you can stand. It's something that comes from God that I cannot explain. It's walking through that valley of the shadow of death and just feeling God with you, no fear, not even knowing where you're going. It's a peaceful place. It's a place of resting. 
and and um, my cup of mercy is overflowing. My path is sure. But if I'm walking through death's shadow, I'll have no fear. Your voice is clear. You lead me to the quiet waters where my soul will be restored. I'm resting in my Father's goodness. Dwelling in your house, flow and sorrow from a broken heart will fall. Do you catch them all? Still, there is. I feel like I know a lot of the scriptures, and when the times of testing came upon me, some of those words came flooding back to my mind. You comfort me when I call. So I would go to the, the Psalms or the Proverbs or something in, in the Bible that would give me great strength and would also bring great hope into my life. And so that is my anchor. And all who thirst for more will there be filled again. You're such a faithful friend. Music uh, is such a universal language and I think it resonates with everyone's heart. <laughs> Once you hear a conga, or an uh, electric guitar or the drums or a bass, I think that just lets people's guards down. And so they begin to enter into the music. The songs that we share are positive and uh, always have a message uh, of hope and encouragement. Refuge in my hell. Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. 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 You've been my help in troubled times, Lord. You walk me through the darkest nights. Lord, you've been your good to me. 